Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Will and welcome to the Movie Files. Uh, this is going to be my review of uh, the first episode of the new X-Files miniseries entitled My Struggle. And all I have to say is the X-Files is back. After a 14-year hiatus on television and eight years since the last feature film, Mulder and Scully are back on the paranormal beat. My Struggle is the first episode of what is being referred to as the show's 10th season. However, it is in reality the first episode of a six-episode television miniseries. This is somewhat different, however, than most television miniseries, as the show's producers have made it clear that it will not be a, six, a single six-episode story arc, but that there would also be standalone episodes contained within the miniseries as well. It will be interesting to see where the property goes from here. David Duchovny has said that while he has no interest in returning to the X-Files on a full-time basis, that if ratings for the miniseries warrant it, he would not be opposed to returning and doing a short episode run every year. This could mean that we might get several more of these, provided the ratings and reviews are good. Rest assured, dear listeners, this review is quite good. The first episode brings the audience right back into the world of the series, and you all but forget that it's been 14 years since the final episode in 2002. In that respect, it did what the last film was unable and really didn't even try to do. Whereas I Want to Believe was just some movie that happened to feature Mulder and Scully in it, as soon as my struggle starts with opening narration by Mulder explaining the nine seasons of the series and the history of UFO sightings in the United States, it immediately feels like The X-Files. My Struggle introduces a new character, Tad O'Malley, who is an ultra-white-ring television talk show host. Variety describes O'Malley as Glenn Beck meets Bill O'Reilly, however he has much more in common with Alex Jones, talking about aliens and 9-11 truth conspiracies. Interestingly, Bill O'Reilly is name-dropped, with O'Malley stating that what O'Reilly knows of the truth couldn't fill an eyedropper. Tad O'Malley is played by the soup's Joel McHale. The episode followed pretty much the same format as the original television series, even bringing back the original opening from the first seven seasons, with the only difference being the addition of Mitch Pileggi, who returns as assistant director Walter Skinner, to the opening titles, an honor he was granted for the show's ninth season. We are introduced to Scully working in residency at a Catholic hospital, just as she was in the film I Want to Believe. Scully is contacted by Skinner, who is trying to get in touch with Mulder on behalf of Tad O'Malley. Mulder and Scully arrange to meet up with O'Malley to see what it is he wants with Mulder. O'Malley soon takes Mulder and Scully to Virginia, where he introduces them to a young woman named Sveta. Mulder and Scully had, apparently, interviewed Sveta before about previous abductions. It is clear from the first episode that this miniseries will be dealing heavily with the ongoing mythology of the show and there are some interesting revelations about the show's mythology in this first episode. There are also some interesting revelations regarding Mulder and Scully's romantic relationship as they are shown to be estranged. That Mulder and Scully would have broken up really isn't all that surprising, although they ran off together in the show's finale and were seen to be embracing a future together as fugitives from the FBI, it was clear and I want to believe that Mulder's obsession was placing strain on their relationship. Apparently, Scully just got to her breaking point because it is mentioned that she is the one who left Mulder. My struggle was a decent beginning to the X-Files revival. It had everything fans could possibly hope for and were denied in the last feature film. It even ends with a surprising cliffhanger and the return of an old adversary. I am certainly looking forward to what the show has in store for the next five episodes. So those are my thoughts on uh, the first episode of the X-Files miniseries. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for listening, and have a nice day. Hi, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, be sure to check me out on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to head on over to The Blaze and check out my weekly column where I do re movie reviews and general Hollywood industry commentary. You can find the links for all those things in the description below. Have a nice day.